Hi, welcome to this tutorial, which is going to cover how to record desktop or screen capture video with audio using VLC player and stereo mix. Um, this tutorial is going to consist of two parts. The first part it's going to be for the people that do have a stereo mix installed already or need to install it and have real tag audio cards. That is important. If you don't have a real tag audio card, please do not follow this tutorial. The second part is for the people that do not have real tag audio cards, but they do want a quick fix um, using another way of doing it. <clears throat> I will use also real tag audio cards, but you could use it, I think, with any audio cards basically. Um, it's a little more tedious, but it does work. So I'm going to start for the first part. And the second part is going to be on the link below and it's going to tell you to another um, to another video. Now all the links like I said are going to be below even the things that you need to download. So let's start. Uh, this tutorial was based on this um, person called Hack Spoiler which it, it it's pretty pretty much what I'm doing it just use a different program to capture the audio the reason why I buried it it was because I didn't want to download extra programs and put in my computer and saturate my program you know my, my hard drive and, and stuff with other things um, but again it's, it's your choice I would put the link on this too so first of all you need to update your current driver the latest driver for your uh, Realtek audio card. In my case, already updated. It might take a little bit, a little bit longer than the other programs because you need to restart the computer, make sure everything works. It's gonna uh, prompt you to this um, page. You put next. It's, it's gonna give you this page. Choose your platform, which is fine. Like I said, watch the whole video first, then do this. Um, once you've done this, uh, restarted your computer, up, uh, go to this other link, BLC Media Player, download it. BLC is a very powerful um, video encoder, recorder, and player made by Video Line Organization. It's a very good program. Download this, the download uh, options, everything is pretty straightforward. Just um, make sure to read carefully, not to install any AdWords or anything. Now, the third thing and last would be download the Screen Capture Direct Show Source Filter. It's an add-on uh, for VLC but made by Unreal Streaming Technologies. What it does and it lets you do is uh, record or capture your screen or part of your screen as you're going to see later. A 64 and 32 bit edition. I downloaded the 32, even my computer 64, because my BLC is 32. I wasn't sure if it's going to cause any incompatibilities. Um, again, if you want to try it, go ahead. I'm not fully sure it works on mine, so your choice. Once you download and install everything, just open BLC as you see right now I'm using this current setup to record this the main idea what stereo makes is it lets you record the output of your computers as it would go to your speakers let's say or your headphones <clears throat> I am use I am recording my voice as well as whatever my computer could play I could watch a movie and listen. today I want to talk to you a little bit about mixers as you can see, I am recording this video. I mean, uh, I found this YouTube video for live casting from Craig Tube. Uh, he's a pretty cool dude. Explains a lot about um, audio and live webcasting, actually. Um, so, as you can see, I am talking to my computer and also recording the whatever sound my computer plays, as well as the whole screen capture. So how do you do this? Well, the main idea is you go to recording devices. If you don't have that, it should be on your control panel under hardware and sounds. 
and Android sounds manage audio devices and you have playback recording in this case I'm gonna go to my recording and I have my microphone as you see my microphone is connected as well this stereo mix my microphone is set to play back on my computer so my stereo mix could pick it up so just in case BLC which is a recording device would pick up my microphone and the audio from my computer so if you don't see stereo mix right click on the white space um, below and then just put to show disable and show disconnected devices it would show you stereo mix if you have it um, once you've done this enable it right click on it enable in my case it says disable because I already have it enabled you could change the properties but honestly don't you could play with it you could listen to a device it would be cool if you wanted to listen to music and play a video game on your back and listen to some different type of audio okay so once you have this make sure you have a stereo mix now secondly my microphone is set to play back on my computer so you right click properties on the microphone and then you go to listen now listen to this device and it will play back on my speakers whatever I am speaking to in this case I set it to default playback device or speakers which usually just leave it at default playback device because it's the main one and then you click OK uh, <coughs> Realtek also when you update your driver uh, it would install this program called Realtek HD Audio Manager it's a neat program that it lets you manage any audio input output device first thing make sure that the advanced setting is mute the rear output device here and tie it up the same input jacks as you're gonna see on the second part of the tutorial we will change to here and here to make um, something else if you don't have stereo mix Express OK stereo mix is here you could do recording volume and the microphone as well as the playback volume this is gonna be the default um, so uh, once you play as you can see I get close to my microphone the microphone decibels would go up and down as well as the stereo mix since my microphone is connected to stereo mix I'm sorry if I sound like a broken record, but I just hope you get the idea of what I'm doing right here. Okay, so once you do that, just so I'm gonna open another BLC player here and it's minimizers. Um, again, BLC is just gonna show this. Uh, how do you screen capture? Well, you go to media, screen capture device, and then it lets you the option to do desktop, but the thing it doesn't let you. Um, speak to it per se or it doesn't record any audio you could play any media like a song in the background but it doesn't record any audio so you go to desktop uh, instead of desktop you go to direct show and if you install the use screen capture it will sh be there it will show you there you could record from webcams or whatever you want in this case your screen capture and the audio device would be ceramix once you've done that, you go to, well, you don't need to show more options, advanced options. This is the aspect ratio. In my case, it's 16 by 9 because it's my it's a, um, white screen, 1920 by 1080. Yours might be 4 by 3. That's, that's one of the main ratios there are there are out there. Uh, the input frame, I'm going to put 24. You could put lower uh, depending on, you know, the higher the number, the more, the, the higher the video file size is. Um, film the standard for film is 24 device properties we will show you extra properties at the end you will see put ok and now instead of putting play because what we would do it would play BLC would play in the back and then we will record it but you will hear echo because you're listening to what you're recording in a way and also the file size would be incredibly huge because it will record with the highest resolution in this case if you do that you will, will have to put a record button here um, so if you want a better more uh, optimized way you put the little arrow here convert now the source is gonna be this the video capture 
and then you have different profiles from two audios and the rest are videos from lower quality to highest quality the best ones I'll recommend you will be H.264 and Theoria plus Borvis uh, basically it's video plus audio what you want to do is click on the settings make sure uh, MP4 is selected well in the H.264 you could use any other it will do it automatically since it's a profile the video codec make sure it's H.264 the bit rate you could play with it good quality decent quality is 2000 kilobits per second kilobytes per second uh, frame 24 frames per second we already set it so make sure it's the same as before you could even alter resolution and make it smaller um, now the second thing the audio codec make sure audio is put also that the codec you choose the codec some uh, debugging um, options it will tell you that you make sure that you put a codec because you just by selecting audio and if you don't select the codec it will not record the audio so make sure mp3 you could put even 260 or 192 the high squad is 192 again the higher the number the higher the video, the video size the sample rate if you want good sound quality put uh, 48,000 uh, Hertz put save and now just browse whatever you want to put it let's say I put test.mp4 make sure you put the mp4 dot mp4 at the end because as the file extension or the file codec it would use um, put save now once you put a start it's gonna pop up the screen capture video <coughs> properties like I said you could capture with use screen capture one monitor two monitors both monitors we already set at 24 so then move that it could capture full screen or you could capture part of your screen half your screen a quarter of the screen whatever you want um, yeah that's pretty much it once you click OK it will show the sound options um, if you go to the real tech audio manager um, it would go to the audio properties of the audio recording device that you're using in this case stereo mix so if you go to stereo mix you could put higher up goes up here goes up here down it goes down here you'll probably notice my bows going up and down too this is due because I am currently altering these settings as I am recording um, that's pretty much it once you put this it would start recording you might not see anything playback there's no need to put this record button as soon as you see this moving it would record um, if you don't see these buttons al although you don't need them um, if you want to take them out you go to tools uh, where was it advanced controls view advanced controls see oh, I have it in there because I, c I record webcam videos as well so in webcam videos when you play it and you want to see yourself you would need to put this so that will finish the first part again thanks for watching if you want to watch the second part just make sure to go to the link below in the comments uh, comment if anything uh, if you have any questions let me know how it goes and click on the second part if you do not have stereo mix installed or you cannot have a stereo mix installed if you have a Realtek audio card stereo mix doesn't work or you just have a different audio card okay again thanks for watching and thank you